So over here, you can see that I have a form opened up. And if I want to use form mark or save tools, then what I can simply do is I can go over here on the right and click on fill and sign. So once I do that, you can see that I can choose who uh, is about to fill the form. So I'm just going to go around into fill and sign by me where it says you. So over here by default, the text tool is selected. But if you want to mark out something, let's say, for example, this, then what you can do is you can click. You get the type tool, but if you want to get the check mark and other tools right there, you can click on this and you can see that you get the cross right here, which you can click and drag around and then resize just like this to keep it right here. I can also click right here and then go back and click on the check mark right here. And that is how it works. Let's say you want an oval instead, you can click here and then bring in a, like a rounded rectangle, as you can see, which you can click and drag to resize over here. I can click here and there's other option over here as such as line right here, which I can click and drag just like this. And if I were to click here and go around into more option, there's dots that I can use as well. So that's one way to use these symbols. But another way to do is go around into cross right here and click over here. And simply you can see that the cross has been added right here. You can click and drag it out and keep it wherever you want, just like that. And if I were to click on the check mark, click here and there's the check mark. You can click over here to bring out the oval shape as well, the rounded rectangle and then resize it just like that. And if I were to click here, there's the line that you can bring and keep it wherever you want. So if I were to click and uh, click, 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 you can see that more copies of it is me. I can click on this as well to create a circle. So just like this, you can see that I can bring in options right here. And if I were to go over here, I can change the color of uh, different options. If I were to go to red, you can see that it changes around and that affects out the text as well. So if I want to add in details in red or any other color right here, you can see that I can go around on to different options right here and then to choose that around. I can go around into markings and you can see that the same color gets applied over there. And that is how you can work around with form mark and shape tools inside of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.